All right, so here's our side-by-side -side comparison in between a four-ton single-stage system and the Infinity system. There is a one to two degree difference in between these two days, in between the high and the low. The biggest difference in between these two days is probably the humidity levels, 88% on this day and 80% on this day. The lows are fairly similar to each other. The other thing to note in regards to the infinity settings, it's set on comfort mode at 72 degrees, and I did not adjust any of the other settings. And you can see that it's running a one and a half degree dead band, and I didn't adjust the factory settings, which is a two degree dead band, and I can actually lower this even further, making these temperature swings even tighter. Or if you're crazy, I think you can raise it up to like a six degree dead band. I didn't play with any of the humidity settings either. In my house, the humidity levels always maintains in between 60 and 40%, so it's already considered ideal for comfort. That being said, I don't know how much it's gonna try to drive down humidity because it's already fairly ideal. So we really just installed it and turned it on at 72 degrees. The other thing to note is how we use our house. We use the downstairs and upstairs common area throughout the day, meaning the time frame when the temperatures are most important to us throughout the day is between 6 a.m. and 9 p.m. And for the bedrooms, we don't use them too much throughout the day. However, at nighttime around 9 p.m. all the way up to around 6 a.m. are the most critical times for temperature when we're sleeping. 